Hey, so this is Lee with WPLauncher.com. Uh, Want to do a quick video for you on how to namespace Bootstrap. I I do a lot of WordPress development, so there's some times when I want to pull some styles in from Bootstrap into the editor. Uh, so I needed a quick and easy way to namespace everything, and uh, it, it's not it, it's not easy to fine, at least for me it wasn't, so hopefully this will make it easy. So head on over to bootstrap.com, getbootstrap.com, and I'm looking through the download section. Um, you can download from here, uh, but you're gonna run into issues because you need to use some tooling in order to namespace everything quickly. So what I would recommend doing is going over to, to the bootstrap GitHub directory, and then just clone this directory into uh, your own directory. So what I'm doing is I'm building a theme for WordPress and so I've got an assets folder with a CSS folder and then I enqueue these assets from here. And I'm gonna enqueue some editor specific assets as well, so I'm going to namespace this so I can enqueue it for the editor. Okay, so I'm in this CSS directory and I'm just going to clone the bootstrap github directory. And if, if you use some of the, I, I've tried doing just npm install bootstrap and some just downloading it and trying to set it up my own tools, but um, you need to use the GitHub directory because it's all the most up-to-date tooling and everything, so everything works. If you don't do it from there, you're gonna run into issues. Okay, so now I'm gonna navigate on into that bootstrap directory, and I'm gonna look at this uh, build tools over here, and really, once you pull in this GitHub directory, you can just follow this to a T. Um, it, it really works. If you don't pull it in from GitHub, it's not going to work. And they say this uh, somewhere, <laughs> but uh, let's run through these steps here. Okay, so I'm in Bootstrap. So it says download Node. I've already got Node, uh, so you don't need to worry about that if you've already got it. So, uh, you can run Node-V. Otherwise, this isn't about installing Node, but uh, if you need to, uh, you're gonna have to, I, I have a post somewhere. Um, and then we're in the bootstrap directory and we're gonna run npm install. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna install everything um, from this package uh, JSON file here. It's gonna install all the tooling we need to uh, be able to add this namespacing. So uh, if you, let's see, if you run npm install, and it's gonna take a second. And in the next step, you'll see we need to install Ruby. So you're gonna to want to go through installing Ruby. You've probably got it installed. I'm on a Mac, um, so it's baked in. And then you're gonna install Bundler, and you're gonna use the uh, one of the bundles in there to run this tooling. Okay, so we've got our NPM install has been run, so I'm gonna do gem install bundle and you're probably gonna have to do a pseudo there you see how it didn't work you may not but I do okay so installing the bundler and then finally we'll run bundle install cool so everything was run. Okay, and then if you head on down here using npm scripts, now what we want to do is we want to generate a namespaced file that uh, we can use. So if you run npm run dist, and there's a whole bunch of other uh, cool um, scripts you can run here. So you could run just CSS to compile only the CSS, um, CSS compile, and then you can also define where you want to put output everything. So right now it's going to input or it's going to output everything to dist uh, CSS. So if we take a look at this, 
dist CSS, and it'll run it into this bootstrap.css file. And okay, so look at this before we namespace everything, and I'll show you how to namespace everything very quickly here, okay? So you're in the bootstrap directory that you just downloaded and ran npm install. You're gonna head over to scss, okay? This is the SAS file. And then you're gonna go to bootstrap.scss. And to namespace everything, you just wrap it in whatever wrapper class you want. I'm using double WP Launcher. Okay, so it's gonna wrap everything. Watch this, this is so cool. Okay, and now if I come back over and I run npm run dist, it's gonna bundle all this stuff, it's gonna add our namespacing. And we're gonna be in business here. It takes a second to run through all this stuff. All right, it's done. So hopefully when we go back into this dist directory, remember it's, it's building, so what it's doing is running through and it's building a, a it's compiling all of the SAS and it's building a uh, new CSS file with everything in it and we should see everything wrapped here with WP Launcher. And so if you scroll through, check that out. So one thing to note though is um, like HTML, you're not gonna have an outside wrap around HTML, so get rid of that. And then also body, you're not gonna have a class outside, but everything else uh, is gonna be namespaced. And if I'm missing something, you know, let me know. I'll update this video if I'm not being too lazy. Uh, but this will get you probably 99% of the way there of namespacing. So, hey, thanks for joining me. Uh, check out WP Launcher if you build themes. We make it really easy to launch uh, fully managed uh, WordPress hosting on the fly so you can earn some recurring revenue because who does not want recurring revenue? All right, talk to you soon.